Hey, welcome back to Trust and Rust. This is uh, day one, part two. We're gonna go into the trucks and modified stuff next. Um, right now, you can see somewhere back there, they are watering the track. It is getting pretty dusty. We're gonna be putting more power down to the track, more wheel speed, uh, more dirt flying, which is gonna dry the track out faster. So uh, up next on the black sled, looks like we're gonna have a military six by six. And then uh, we're gonna have Dan Dykstra's new pulling truck, brand new. They just finished it, tested it out yesterday. Uh, we'll get that uh, coming up next. Okay, these are pretty much exhibition only. We don't have a whole class of them. All right, the fire truck heads right out the gate. The monitors are off, but that is a full pull, 300 foot plus. And then our 6x6 truck, he uh, feeling a little froggy, he started get going, had some momentum, some horsepower, he grabbed the gear and kept it rolling and then he started to power out, tried to shift down and missed the shift. There he goes. I love me a military truck, that's a nice shape. Glad he brought it out. Okay, let's see, we got Big Bertha coming up with that big V12. Detroit Okay, we got a little Toyota It's like a wheeler rock crawler Well, you don't want to hop. Yeah, he's right. He's stuffed the clutch in You start hopping you start breaking so uh, 167 feet for the Yoda Okay, we got big birds back on the sled Something broke. Hopefully it's not running backwards. The way that thing backed into the sled. Yeah, let's see if he can get that thing to fire up again. Oh, I wonder if the air gate uh, was hooked to the sled. The air shut off. I bet you that uh, that cord pulled and uh, killed it. So that's what's, uh, I'm sure that's what's going on. So you got a mechanic up there. It's this truck shop that built this. So he climbed up there. Looks like he reset the pin on the air gate. There, fired back up. So I'm sure they'll back it up again and try it all over. Okay, they got a blown alcohol pulling truck on the black sled. That's got to be good for at least uh, 12 to 1500 horse without talking to them. Okay, and he stalled it tightening the chain, so uh, they're going to run the starter back up to it and they'll fire it back up. Okay, so what happened was he tightened the chain on the modified and he pulled the kill switch. It's uh, just like an electronic disconnect on it. So if the chain breaks or something goes wrong, the sled operator can grab it and pull it and kill the air gate on a diesel or the, like, or the ignition on gas powered whatever. Um, so when you pull the chain tight, if there's a knot or something in that uh, cable, it'll kill whatever you're tightening the chain on. Uh, in this case, uh, the blown alcohol uh, V8. I'm sure it's a Chevy, Donovan, whichever. Uh, anyway, it looks like they're backing it down, get the fuel out of the cylinders, then they'll set it up and uh, fire it up again. Okay, they got it fired back up. It didn't take long. Change tight, green light. Uh, 
she was missing a little bit on some cylinders. You could see the alcohol coming out of the pipes. But uh, a little hard getting that sled started, but uh, once she got going, she was gone. She hit a top speed of 20 miles an hour. Okay, Big Bertha's fired up again. Well, let's see how he does. Looks like the pole cable popped again, the air gate. Not sure what they got going on back there, but uh, something's catching and shutting it off. Okay, next on the black sled is going to be a Massey 55 with stretch frame, roll cage, big tires, and a big block Chevy. Honestly, I hope it stays together, right? Because I hear a noise coming out of that thing, and I don't know if it's the engine or if something's loose. So. Uh, Let's watch and see what happens. feet I think he just put that thing together I remember right the local auction they had that uh, that tractor was for sale I don't know if it had an engine he might have stuck on that okay third try with Big Bertha here we go up Two 
221 feet. Okay, that was a stock diesel class. So that's a new class. Uh, they're not. Uh, the, there's no way for me to tell from here what classes are pulling next. I'm just kind of grouping them together, like the, the old orange Ford and that dark gray Ford. I'm sure they're pretty much a class. This truck, I'm not sure. I think these Dodges over here and that Ford that's backing up the sled. That's going to be a class. So. Your guess may be as good as mine. That's how this, we'll see how all this goes. And the Ford goes 279 feet. All right, we got a white Ford on the black sled. Stopped at 214 feet. 214. So my guess would be that this black sled, the last two hooks, this white duck Ford and the truck be before that are uh, probably more like a street class. Uh, that'd make more sense. So, Alright, we'll see who is up next. This sled is next. That was a newer black Dodge, and he went 306 feet. Full pull. And the 67 went 210 feet. Okay, the Dodge on the blue sled's having some uh, mechanical difficulties. He's trying to figure out what he can do about it. Okay, so the guy standing next to that truck, if you can see him, I was talking to him about that truck and he was saying that uh, they're having problems with the uh, transfer case. So he'd normally pull in like, I think he said third gear and low range, but something's missing or not working in the transfer case and they thrashed on it last night, tried to rebuild it and it's something's still not right. So they had to go to four high and uh, 
guy I was talking to thinks that the clutch might be too hot. It's like wanting to grab right now. It's got a big turbo on it. You got to spool it up, and it's the clutch isn't happy. So uh, anyway, we'll see if they can get that taken care of, figured out. They can cool it down and make another attempt. Uh, see what happens. stop at 336 feet. Nice easy work. Okay they're tightening up the sled. Wood lighter elected to go again. Well they kind of needed him to because they needed to tighten up the sled. There's four in this class. feet 254 and boy she's hot she's got some steam rolling out of there so yeah this time he shut it off immediately okay it looks like uh, the GMC agent orange will be up next to the front, 285 feet. into some tractors some diesel uh, I don't know if they call these pro stock or what but they're over the thousand 1,000 horsepower range I believe so uh, up first is gonna be uh, I think it's a 4440 John Deere Ben Dalen's 
44.30 goes 307 feet for a full pull plus. big hot white here but uh, a lot of wheel speed not getting anywhere I don't know if they changed the sled settings or what they did but uh, he didn't get but and that sled come right up just like that he went uh, 100 feet and that's about it It's not spooling that turbo, and uh, it's like he's shaking them off. Turbo's kind of screwed up, you think? So they're shutting it down. He's going to get towed off the track. Better to shut her down than to hurt something trying. Looks like a 1066. Janet got stopped at 380 feet for Raging Bull. Well, the fire truck got another. Uh, well, got a full pull, 332 feet. He put in the clutch and called her good. Uh, I think what we're doing here is closing out the show for the day. Big Bertha's going to come up one more time. Unless I see something come up to the sled, uh, I'm going to call it. So uh, we'll see how many more show up. Well, folks, I think that's it. Big Bertha is going to close out the show for the day for sure. Nobody is coming up to the lanes uh, and getting in line for the sled. So thanks for watching. Hit like if you like this. Let me know if you like this content or not. What you like, don't like. Again, appreciate you watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.